what you wanted But you don't even trust yourself We were so, we were so, we were so high up in love But not enough to bring us back from where we fell Guys, if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Um, and leave a comment. Tell me what you like, what you feel like I missed, and tell me what you would want to see. Uh, also, if you're new here, I do have another channel called Motivated Mimi. I'm going to link that below. Uh, we do pranks on people. Um, and if you want some laughs and you want to see some pranks, bag as well as packing all my stuff and organizing it because I got a bunch of new supplies um, so what I normally keep in my clinical bag is let me just go with the basics and then like I said all the stuff behind me is what I'm gonna be reorganizing so gotta have N95 these days you have to you have to you know always be ready for them just in case if somebody else doesn't have one in order to be safe or just you know just be safe because you know everything that's going on there's a concern so i always keep a bunch right now i have three and then i have more in my car and then i keep brushes my nursing process book so like if i ever have a question like how to write a nursing process or something like that i'm able to quickly find a reference and very correctly as well as it has diagnosis and all the other stuff in the book um uh gate belt this is a new one which is why it's still in the wrapper and then carmex i always have to have carmex with me and then the human body book just in case i want to use it for a reference to actually see what it looks like before i end up doing like a med search thing um you know just nice having a reference because some of the books don't really look like you know what it actually really is and then you get confused when you actually see it in real life so i always keep this on me i've had this since anatomy which is a long time but i'll still keep it on me just in case anything that is due for clinicals i always keep it there so then when we're turning it in i'm always organized with that and then so i do note cards every week i do five diagnosis and then five um five medications just so i have I'm, get more familiar with it so then so I turn those in well I don't have to turn them in I just do them just so I can be a little more confident and confident when I'm saying things to my professors and then clinical just so I have everything in there but I always check it every night because I do have kids just in case one of them decides to go play doctor or something and takes all my supplies out that's happened before in there that's the main essentials everything else you know can be looked past but what's in this um so i keep scissors multiple pen lights i have five in total i have four in here and then one in my book bag just in case i leave one for lab then i'll still have one but then i have some other ones in my lab one um and when I turn it, I have my stethoscope, my, it's a Littman's, um, my school bag. We don't really need it, but I always keep it in there just in case. My two, and then I got this off of Amazon. It was a good deal. I got it on Black Friday. I think it's typically $20, but um, I ended up getting it for, I think, 10 It's a thermometer, so... I like it because it's nice and sleek and it just fits right in there. It can just slide right in my pocket as well. So it's not a big bulky one. Oh, I also always keep alcohol pads in here. Um, in my bag. So then, the next thing I have is batteries for the pen light. I always want to be prepared, like I said. When I'm not prepared, I feel so anxious and it ruins my day. 
which is why I always get somewhere super, super early. Cause if I'm late, it just throws everything off and then I'm, I feel stressed the rest of the day and anxious um, or feeling like I forgot something, even if I didn't. Um, so I always come super, super prepared. And then here's more of my note cards. Like I said, I just do them just for reference. Right now, at least we don't need to do them for school, but if we do, I have a million, so. More. And I just slide all this down here. Now we can organize and talk. So then I got a bunch of, when I do um, my notes and everything, I use color pens things I don't have to turn it. I use colored pens just because for some reason it makes, I guess I like the color so it makes it stick better in my head, I guess. I don't know, it works for me. It might not work for you, but it works for me. Um, and then I always have a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of black pens because you have to have black pens while doing documentation at our clinical site. So I always have black pens. And then this pen, This pen is the um, one that has like four different colors, blue, red, green, black, just in case, you know. And it was super cute. I get everything from the dollar store because I go through things so much and it's the same things that are at Walmart, but obviously much cheaper. And then I use, sometimes I use felt tip pens while doing notes just so I can make it a little bolder um, and also like separate different subjects and stuff like that. Like I said, it works for me, might not work for somebody else. Another black pen, more battery. Um, and then keep a calculator on me at clinicals and at lab at all times, just so I can constantly check my calculations multiple times, cause you know, you'd rather be safe than sorry. Yes, you're supposed to do three checks. However, I probably do like 10 um, prior to coming to the patient's bedside, just because I wanna make sure, like I said, my math is correct. Um, and you know, I wanna be, have my patient be safe. Then I keep deodorant on me and uh, white out. And then for me, I always have gum on hand because I think it's really gross when people are talking in my face and their breath smells really bad. I think it's kind of offensive. So the last thing I wanna do is have stinky breath talking to my patients or, you know, being all over them. I think it also says something about your caregiver that's taking care of you. If they don't have good hygiene, how are you going to tell me about taking care of my hygiene? Um, just a thought. And then headbands. As you see, I have curly hair, so right now it's straight. I have curly hair, so I always keep headbands just in case my edges on all the way down sometimes. I want to go walking like someone didn't raise me right. Hey guys, so I'm going to be getting ready for my clinical.